Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can move the page file from one hard drive to another hard drive. Now, if you've got an SSD and you want to move it to a mechanical drive, then this is how you can do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So first, what we're going to do here is go up to View and then Options and then Change Folder and Search Options here. So what we want to do is go inside here and go to the View tab and open up where it says hidden files, folders and drives. We want to make sure we show those and also we want to make sure we turn off the hide protective uh, operating system files. And uh, this is normally hidden, but we're going to put that back afterwards. It's only so I can show you the page file here. So you can see it's on the C drive here and it's got page file.sys and you can see it's seven gigabytes in size. So when we turn this off, Theoretically, we'll be saving seven gigabytes on our SSD and moving that over to our um, mechanical drive. And that's what we're going to do here. So what we want to do next, you can see here, there's no page file inside here at all. So what we need to do here is navigate to this PC in the left hand column here. And then we can change these settings to right click on this and go to properties. This will open up this box here. And what we want to do is go to advanced system settings. This will open up another box called system properties. And inside here, we want to make sure we're on the advanced tab. Then under performance, hit the settings tab here. Then performance options, we can go to advanced. This will then give us a, an option to go into the virtual memory settings here. We're going to change this and you can see it's automatically managed the paging file system uh, windows is taking care of that for us so we need to remove the tick there so we can make the change because obviously we want to move it so we need to take the tick out there you can see the d drive here has got no system page file on it so what we want to do is turn off the system page file now i wouldn't recommend you use no page file I've seen a lot of people saying turn that off you don't need it in 2019 you do need it so just leave that enabled. Uh, it's pointless uh, disabling that, but we're gonna go no, no page file here only because we are going to now re-enable it on another drive. So you can see here, I've got another drive here and all I need to do here now is go to system manage uh, size and then set that, okay? Now what Windows will do is utilize the page file that we've got on the D drive rather than on our C drive, which is our SSD. And that's what we want to try and do here. So we're going to apply and OK that. And of course, we can OK this again. Now, you will still see the page file in the C drive, and that's because we need to reboot the system. Once we reboot, that will make our changes and the virtual memory settings will then obviously uh, be set in place what we set up. So you can see there is uh, 216 gigabytes here. You will reclaim seven gigabytes in space, which isn't a vast amount of space, but it's still seven gigabytes. And if you've got a small solid state drive, then that might be useful to you. So let's go ahead and reboot the system and we'll be right back. And uh, we can then have a look. So I'm gonna restart. Okay, so I'm back at the desktop here. So let's take a look at those changes, what we've done. So you can see we've got our C drive and D drive. I'll quickly check the D drive and you should see a page file uh, .sys in there. And that's because we've put it there. And that means Windows can utilize that um, file now. So we can go in our C drive and you can see it's now been turned off and it's gone. So that's basically how you can move your page file from one drive to another inside Windows 10 here. And you can use this for any version of Windows. Go, go back into uh, system properties here and the performance options then advanced and then virtual memory settings and you can see they have been set uh, for us now and because uh, we've rebooted it's now set in stone so that's good so basically here we're ready and uh, you can also put the tick in automatically manage page file size for all drives if you wish I'm leaving that tick out um, because I want it to use the settings that I've set here. Okay, I want it to uh, use my settings. If I put that in there, Windows is going to control all of that and it's going to ignore what I've done. So that's the reason why I'm not doing that. So, 
So if you did want to remove your uh, page file from OneDrive to another, then that's how you can do it. And it's uh, going to be utilized by Windows. So we can see it's system manage size. So that's what they will do. The Windows will use that page file when it needs to. And that means we haven't turned it off and we haven't uh, caused problems for the system. So turning it off can sometimes cause an issue. Uh, you may sometimes get your blue screen and uh, it's always best to leave uh, the page file on in my personal opinion. All we need to do now is turn off that uh, show operating system files. You never really want to leave that um, on because these are system critical files which you don't want to accidentally delete or mess around with. So we're going to hide that again and that is that. That's basically how you can uh, move your page file from one hard drive to another. Hope this one's been useful to you. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.